Hello there everyone, Dmart, Dmart here, and welcome to my spooky new Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion. A GameCube launch title that many kids grew up playing and a lot of them got scared by. Including me, I was one of those kids who used to get freaked out with this game. But it's really not that scary, so don't worry guys, even though it looks scary, maybe, it's really not that scary. This is the GameCube launch game many people grew up with, and a lot of people are split on if they like it or not. Seriously, it's it's kind of amazing. Some people really don't like Luigi's Mansion, some people really do like Luigi's Mansion. I am on the side of that I really like Luigi's Mansion. It's a wonderful little side series, and Luigi finally gets his own adventure, which everyone loves. Everyone loves Luigi, right? 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 If you don't like Luigi, you must you you must not like ice cream, and that's impossible. <laughs> Anyways, enough rambling on. I think it's time for us to enter the manor. Let's go. Now, a detail I really like here. Look up to the top right here. Welcome to your mansion. Our mansion. Woo, spooky. Alright, I'm, I'm, done, I'm done rambling on. You know, this place doesn't seem so bad. Maybe some dusting here, some dusting there, some... Maybe some new lighting. You know, this place doesn't look too bad. You know, it's okay, right? Right? Maybe? <laughs> Anyways, let's get into controls here before we start walking around. First of all, you have a flashlight here, and you also cannot jump in this game. Put your flashlight. It's all controlled by the B button. You can flash around by looking around. You can turn it off by pressing B, let it go. Simple enough. Ah! <laughs> okay, no, enough splashing the light. We're wasting battery. Uh, also, instead of uh, jumping in this game, you press A to check objects or walls if you're near them. But also, if you're not near stuff, you can press A to call up for Mario. Now, these are my uh, calls. They get pretty funny later on. But for now, they're pretty standard. Anyways, there's nothing better to do down here. So, how about we go upstairs and see what's up? Oh, we got a door. Let's check it out. Mario. Well, it's locked. Well... Uh, no, there's nowhere to go, and I guess uh, we head back outside. You know, we can just leave, right? Luigi, I think you had one too many mushrooms last night. I mean, hey, whatever the thing that thing was, at least it left us, left us, wow, but I can't talk. Left us a key. Uh, I guess we'll pick it up. I love this little key jingle. It's so cute. Well, uh, we can't leave, and uh, I guess the only thing left for us to do, even though it's probably a terrible idea, is to go follow whatever that thing was. Here we go. Everyone, meet one of my favorite Mario characters of all time. Should take a lot of knocks in this line of work. You're getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor Egad. This house. I swear it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fellow like you doing around here, anywho? Uh-oh. 
this looks ugly. All right, youngster, look lively, follow me, post haste. If you use post haste in your vocabulary, you're instantly cool in my books. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm? Where's this, you ask? Why, these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying. Professor Egad's ghost research laboratory. Uh, the lab, if you're short of a shortening mind. You went to this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty fishy to me. So, you believe the mansion actually exists? Then, strange. I've been living here since I was a lad or 20 or so. And I'll tell you that, the mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if this is a dream or an illusion, or what at all. But I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Now that I got a good look at you, I just recall the guy with a red hatchet like yours just went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat. And he never returned. Was he a dream too? Mm. What? Like I was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. Who would stand a chance against these ghosts without my... Help, you have to go after him. Here's the plan, I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. Luigi's... Really oddly optimistic about this, considering it's ghosts. Anyways, we got two control settings here you can go with. You got sidestep and you got standard. Sidestep makes move uh, Luigi move more on a uh, left to right plane, and standard is just you can move freely. I recommend for uh, standard. So how about we go into this? Actually, before we go anywhere, there's actually a little Easter egg on this uh, screen here. If you wait here for a little a bit, a song will start playing that is hidden in a lot of Nintendo games. It's a very minor little secret, but it's such a nice little touch. It's, 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 it's a nice little Easter egg you can go looking out for. But anyways, that being said, into the training we go. That's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius, the Poltergust 3000. It can, it can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. All right, use the R button to use the vacuum and the C stick to change the direction. So you click R to pull out your vacuum and start sucking. And then the C stick is to change the direction while you're moving. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught using conventional means. So you better use this. It's the only way to foil them. It's the only thing they fear. Uh, or something to that effect. <clears throat> well, how about we start your training? Ghosts seem to like the darkness, and they avoid the light. So hit them with a flashlight beam, all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily. And in vacuuming time. When you see a chance, hold down R and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Just give it a try. You'll learn more of that way than just listen to a yap on about it. Alright. So, turn on your flashlight, look at the ghost, flash him with your flashlight to stun him, and then pull, pull, pull. Simple enough. Remember, as soon as you see a ghost hurt, that's your chance to vacuum him up. While vacuuming, to the control stick in the opposite direction to bring him in. Alright, so these ghosts here that we're using in this training demo, this is a golden ghost. They're the basic enemies of the game. Picture them like the Goombas. Well, that's when that, that ghost surprise. Bam! When that surprise ghost heart appears, vacuum with the R button and the control stick. Their heart is the weak point, and they only are exposed to it when they are stunned like that. And of course, you can see the number below that, that has how much HP they have. Hehehehe. <laughs> you get as close as you can before flashing the light. The stronger you are when you hit them with a flashlight, the better strength they will have and longer it will stun them for. So if you're like right in their face when you do it, they'll get stunned for a very long time. Like that. Very easy. Hey kid, shape up. You can't go looking for your brother the way you're carrying on. There, here they come. And oh boy, we got a whole crowd. Uh, jeez. Okay, we're going to the corner. Uh, da, 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 leave me alone. Oh, look at that. Ooh! Ooh! Four for the price of one. Oh, that was cool. Catch a ghost means using the flashlight and the Poltergeist 3000 as a team. You get me there, young feller? That'll do. Well, how many did you get? 
Wow, 10 ghosts. Positively dazzling, Luigi. That's the best you can do. And we got four for one. I got the skills. Look at this. I'm a professional ghostbuster now. Fine, fine. Looks like you worked up quite a sweat there. How about a little cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know? Uh, let's humor the old man. Let's go to the gallery. Off we go. Well, here we are in the gallery, and... You know, I like this place. Very... You know, I'm a man who can appreciate the fine arts of portraits with nothing in them and uh, statues that kind of creeped me out as a kid. The music's nice here, though. So if you look around and check out these portraits, as you can see, they say one, but there's nothing in them. Weird. Anyways, Gad, uh, I just called him Gad. Yeah, what's up, my man? Welcome to the gallery. I once had 21 paintings in my famous ghost collection, but there are now only frames. What a crying shame. Unfortunately, there are only statues here now, but feel free to look around anyway. Use the expo to check with your surroundings with that Game Boy Horror I gave you. Be sure to search suspicious places as well. All right, thank you, Gad. Everything else is just pretty simple. So as you guys was talking about there, we have something called the Game Boy Horror with us. And this thing is a, like, a freaking magic technological, like, technological, bleh, a technological advancement because this thing is freaking crazy. Not only is it a Game Boy, which means you can probably play games on it, but also it has, serves you as a map so you can look around at everything around you. You're gonna be using this a lot, by the way. But it also, if you click X, also has a camera on it. What is this freaking device he got has gave us? Because a Game Boy with a camera and a map screen, and this thing's incredible. This is a work of art, really. Welcome to the gallery. I once had 21 paints of my- Oh, he already said this. No, you got, please. Please, 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 stop saying the same thing. I know you're an old man, but come on, please. Uh, is this gonna keep saying that? I think he is gonna keep saying that. All right, so for us to actually leave, I think we actually have to hit the, we have to actually like press the angel statue like this. And it's wings move, how cool. All right, now I've done the, I think, yeah, there we go. Now you've done that, now you can leave. I forgot about that. I didn't appreciate art for today, Luigi. We are. So how about we go back to the lab? All right then. Where will we go, Luigi? Well, we've been to the training room and we've proven we're a freaking Ghostbuster extraordinaire. We've been to the gallery. So the only thing left now is to wander off to the mansion. Let's go. Careful now, Luigi. I gotta say this right now. I love the fact that Egad's freaking lavatory is just a freaking outhouse. <laughs> Anyways, let's step right back on in. Hold the ghost in hand, or on back. You get the point. And, uh, what's a toad doing here? Hello there, friend. Warning, toad voice incoming. Oh, where did you go, Mario? Ah, huh, Luigi? Wow, it's Luigi, you finally made it, oh joy. Thank goodness. Me? Well, Princess Peach asked you to, asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard you won a mansion, and he never returned. Then when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts. I didn't see Mario anywhere, and I was kind of freaked out. A little. I didn't know what to do. It would have been awful. Please, 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 you have to help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. All right, well, we could help him. But Luigi, don't scratch your butt when this guy's crying to you. Come on, Luigi, show some respect. <laughs> well, you know, we could be a dick, but you know what? Leave it to me. Oh, yeah. Yay, thanks, Luigi. You made my dark and stormy night. Aww. Wish I could do something to help you. Wait, I've got it. At least let me do this. Toad here, or any toad you find along your adventure here, will serve as a safe point. You go to talk to them, and you can save your game. Now, the scariest thing in this entire game is on this screen right here. Luigi's face on this menu. Ugh, there's something so unsettling about it. He looks, he looks like a zombie. Anyways, joking aside, we're not going to save for now. Talk to me for help anytime. And yeah, we are now here. We are in the manor with vacuum and toad this time. So those ghosts don't stand a chance, even though they they probably still do. But whatever. Be confident, dang it. <laughs> now, before we go any further, there's something I want to show off here. It's over here. So you see this mirror, right? Well, you pull out your Game Boy Horror with the camera mode and... Oh, look, you look at the really JPEG Luigi. Like, look at this. Mario 64 looking Luigi. Isn't that a handsome face? Look at me. Look how beautiful I am. Uh, nothing. <laughs> anyway, so when you're looking at a mirror and you click A to search on it, this will happen. Whoa! 
you will get warped right back to the main floor. And while this is not important now, this means that if you look at any mirror in the entire mansion, you can skip right back to this entranceway right here. Very helpful to know if you want to get going somewhere very quickly. So anyways, money! I just, you know how much, you, you guys know how I feel about money. Money is good. Money is great. Money makes the world go around. This money here, you cannot use to buy anything in this game, even though you would think that. Instead, it actually determines your ranking. The more money you get, the higher ranking you'll get at the end of the game. So collect a lot of money if you can. Anyways, this is the room we were in before, but now we have the power of a vacuum and a flashlight. So first of all, we got some coins here, and you really want to be looking around everywhere you go in the mansion. Every room has some secrets that it's holding, so make sure that you go everywhere. And I mean everywhere, seriously. There's that's one of the beautiful things about Luigi's Mansion, is that there's just so much to interact with and so much to do in each room. It's it's really cool. You really do feel like you're on an adventure where, you know, if you ignore the ghost, you know, it doesn't seem so bad, right? <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we explored basically everything around this room. Actually, wait, there's one more thing we haven't explored yet. There's this. More money! Aha! Alright, get all this, get all the dollar bills. As you can imagine, coins are worth the least, dollar bills are worth second most, and uh-oh. I've done something. Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Grime Green? Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes? I don't think I like the fact they put out the candles anymore. Now you're in for it. <laughs> Just like that little red cap before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever! Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Are you? <laughs> here they are now. I have angered the ghosts. All right. Let's get this started. So this basic ghost here, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, I probably have, but these are called Golden Ghosts. They are your goomas of the game, they are very weak. Only 10 HP and they don't really have anything special about them. They are very basic enemies. You'll be seeing them a lot too, so get used to it. Oh, uh, let me try this again. No, I'm not getting hit. We're not getting hit by a freaking Golden Ghost. That's never gonna happen, all right? All right, cool. And there we go, a free ghost gone. The, the room is now lit up. And when a room is lit up, as we remember, ghosts cannot appear, so we are now safe. That's how you know a room's been cleared out. And also, a treasure chest appeared, which has a key. All right. Again, best item jingle ever. <laughs> and another thing I want to point out here about this Game Boy Horror. This thing is so advanced that it literally shows us the entire manor and where each key goes to each locked door. How incredible is this Game Boy, man? I want this Game Boy. I really do. Anyways, this may seem kind of like a short episode, but we got the basics out of the way. We started exploring the manor. We got a good idea of what's going on now. We need to save Mario. He's somewhere in this manor. So, I think it's going to do for a good first episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And next time on Luigi's Invention, we'll go for this locked door here and see what lies beyond. See you guys then.